woman who was in your RV yesterday. Frank? What the hell for? Something important. Can you help? I would really appreciate it. I'm your favorite client, remember? Be in the junkyard in two hours. <sighs> Sweet. Thanks, man. You're a real. That went well, I guess. What am I getting myself into? Okay, I've got two hours to kill. A shower would be fucking amazing. Inaccurate as of yesterday. Someone should update this photo. What do I want the record to show? I'd say I went down in a place of glory. Is that David's towel? Where the hell is mine? Okay, my towel's probably in here somewhere. I should just maybe mom threw my towel in here. No awesome pirate towel. Max and I were so into this shit when we were kids. Wait a minute. Captain Bluebeard's hair dye. Max was going to make me a pirate, but we never got around to it. Ready for the best shower of my life. Hot water, don't let me down.
What do I feel like wearing on this crazy ass day? One last thing. I need to get Dad's tools so I can fix that truck. Dad's toolbox should be in the garage downstairs. Dad's favorite jacket. Definitely taking that if Rachel and I ever leave. Here goes. What are the chances I can avoid mom or David? Flipping them over. <laughs> Not yet, I told you. Three minutes each side. They're gonna burn. Oh, you're the expert now. I can't stand it. I'm telling you, it'll make a mess. <laughs> <laughs> you know, you don't have to make me breakfast. I'd settle for flowers. You cook all the time. I want you to have a break at home. <laughs> you are one class act, David Madsen. <laughs> Mom actually looks pretty happy right now. Hey, who's there? Hey. Chloe, your hair. When did you... Was this for the play? I heard you performed last night. Nope. I mean, I, I did, but this is, uh, is something different. None of that matters now. Oh, I am so glad to see you. Good to see you, Chloe. Coming home was a smart decision. I'm... I'm not staying long. Just... Huh. picking up some stuff. Oh. Are you coming home tonight? Mom, I... I don't know. I wish you would tell me what you're up to. I'm... I'm just hanging out with Rachel. Oh, how is Rachel? I was telling David about the play and you being in it. I really gotta go. Listen, wait. Before you go, David has something to say to you. It won't take but a minute. Mom. Chloe. I, uh... I don't have time for this. Now, hold on a minute. Please. I... owe you an apology. Let's hear it. Chloe, I should not have asked you to empty your pockets yesterday. I was, uh, out of line, and 
I'm sorry. Okay. Apology accepted. Really? Yeah. Good job. And good job, Mom, for twisting his arm or whatever. Chloe. What? It's great. He listens to you. Can we be done now? Wait. One second. Don't go, Chloe. I've been... meaning to show you something. Maybe... Maybe now's a good time. This... is my friend Phil Becker. We served in the same unit. Two tours. Becker was... killed... near the end of our deployment. Roadside IED. We used to... joke about all the trouble we were gonna get into. Once we got back home. But he died. He died, and I didn't. And I think about that fact every damn day. The point is, I've had my share of grief. I know what you're going through. So I guess what I'm saying is, I'm here to do what, whatever I can to help you get over the loss of your dad. Please, I'm begging you. Give David a chance, won't you? Here. Why don't you keep this photo for a little while? Uh, think about what I've said. David looks so young. And this Phil guy, they look close. Thank you, David. Oh, Chloe. Mom. I'm just so proud of you both. Mom, I really need to go. Be careful out there, Chloe. I love you, sweetheart. All right, all right. What the hell? Just gotta grab Dad's toolbox and then get out of here quick. Holy crap. This might actually be helpful for fixing up the truck. <laughs> 